How to make a website to sell music for free. Hello, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you step by step how to use Wix website builder to make a website to sell music or sell beats. All you'll need to do is go onto wix.com and sign up using your email address. There are a few reasons why I recommend Wix. One, you can get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. And the second option is it is beginner friendly. With Wix, you'll be able to create a professional looking website in no time, even as a complete beginner. All you'll need to do, as I said earlier, is go onto Wix.com, sign up using your email address and create a password. After you have done that, you are going to be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And all you'll need to do on the search bar right here, you are going to simply type in music. And from there, you have a few options. You can select music artist, music band, music business. Any one of these options is good. But for this example, I'm going to select music store. Then I'm going to tap on next. Once you have tapped on next, you are going to be redirected to this page and you are going to enter your store name. So let's say I want to call it simple beat. So I'm going to do that right here. Then tap on next. After you have added the name, you are going to be redirected to this page. And from here, these are the plugins that you would like to get added to your website. So first, we're going to have the online store plugin added, obviously, as we are going to be selling music. Then you can also add the chat plugin if you would like to offer customer care support to persons. And you can also add this one, stream and sell your music commission free. We're going to tap on that. Then we're going to scroll down if you would like to also offer bookings, you can do that. Or if you would like to offer events, for example, to sell tickets to your concerts or so on, you could tap on events. Then you can scroll down. And if, for example, you would like to offer any pricing plans or anything like that, you can do that. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. Once you have tapped on next, what I want you to do is tap on begin with a template. By tapping on begin with a template, you'll be redirected to this page. And this is one of the main reasons why I recommended Wix. As you can see here, these templates do look very professional. And all you have to do is tap on a template of your liking. You can scroll down and you can choose any one of these templates. But normally I would recommend that you choose one of the top two right here as they are normally the best match. But if you want to use any other one, you can do that. So let's say I would like to use this one just for example sake. I'm going to tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, you are going to give the AI a few seconds. Meanwhile, it compiles your website. So just give it a few seconds, then we'll be able to edit it even more. Then you'll be redirected to this page and Wix now has a feature that you can type in information that you would like to be added to your website. And then they have an AI writer. Once you tap on create site text that will fill out your website with information. But for this example, I won't be using that. So you are going to tap on the X right there. Then I want you to tap in the top right hand corner where you see plus 50%. And at the moment, this is how our website is looking, as you can see right here. So we can scroll down and you can see that this is the home page. And with the home page, you can make any changes you want. All you have to do, let's say we would like to change this image. You'll simply hover over the section that you want to change. Then tap on quick edit. Once you have tap on quick edit, there's going to be a pop up on the right hand corner. You can tap on change to change the image. After you have done that, you could scroll down. If you would like to change the buy now button, you could tap on that. You can change the text right there. If you want to change the link, you could tap on the link. And this means that the page that it will redir be redirected to. So at the moment, it is redirected to the product page, which is good. So you should leave it as that. 
So you can tap on the X right there and you can tap on the X in the top right hand corner. Then you can scroll down and you can delete anything that you want or add anything more that you want. The next thing we're going to be doing is editing the product page. And to get access to your different pages, you will need to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on the third icon from the top, which is pages and menu. Then from there, we are going to tap on products. Once you have tapped on products, you're going to be redirected to the product page as you can see right here. Then we'll be able to start adding our products. So all you need to do is scroll down. At the moment, there are some placeholder products on the page. You can change that quickly by tapping on manage products. Once you have tapped on manage products, you'll be redirected to this page and you are going to tap on new product in the top right hand corner. Then you are going to tap on digital file. After you have tapped on digital file, you'll be redirected to this page. Just give it a few seconds to load up. And from here, you'll be able to add your music or your beats. So you'll be able to upload the beat by simply tapping on upload file. Then you could scroll down and you can add the beat name or the music name right there. You can also add a description if you want. And then you can scroll down, you can add images if you want. And you'll be also able to set the price. After doing all of that, you could tap on save in the top right hand corner. And also, if you would like to create a music library on your website, you could tap on music library from the left hand menu option right here. Then from here, you will be welcome to the Wix music and you could choose what you would want to create. So for example, if you would like to create a playlist with max 500 tracks, you could do that. If you would like to create an album, you can do that. If you would like to create a single, you can do that using Wix. Once everything is there like in, you're going to tap on the X. Then you'll see your products listed right here. After you have done that, all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option again, tap on pages and menu. Then we're going to select right where you see chart page. We're going to tap on that right where you see cart page better yet. And this is how the cart page look at the moment. So we are going to add some payment methods. To do that, we are going to tap right where you see manage payments in the top left hand corner. Once you have tapped on manage payments, you are going to be redirected to the payment page. And from here, you'll be able to add different payment options. For example, PayPal, Tilopay and other payment methods. So this will give your visitors or customers access to different payment options. So for example, let's say we would like to add PayPal to our website, which I would definitely recommend. You right where you see PayPal, you're going to tap on connect and you would add your PayPal information. By scrolling down, you can add other payment methods by tapping on see more payment options and you'll be able to set up other payment methods. Then we'll tap on the X right there and it is going to be populated with the different payment methods that you have added. Then we'll go over to the left hand menu option again, tap on pages and menu. Then you'll tap on thank you page. And from there, you'll be able to edit your thank you page. So at the moment, this is how my thank you page looks. To make any changes, all I have to do is hover over the section then tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner and I would be able to make changes. And by the way, if you would like to add anything to any one of the pages, all you have to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner right where you see add elements. For example, if you'd like to add an image, you can do that. Add buttons, you can do that. Add video and music, you can tap on video and music and you can add different music players as you can see right here. It is quite easy to edit a website using Wix. And once you're finished editing your website and it is to your liking and you would like it to go live, all you'll need to do is simply tap on publish in the top right hand corner. But before tapping on publish, I'm going to select pages and menu again. 
and I'm going to go to the main page which would be the product page right here so let me tap on product page then I'm going to tap on preview so you can see how it looks so this is how my product page looks at the moment you can see it right here if I were to tap on preview you'll see how it looks live then if everything is there like in you're going to tap on publish hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching